Zond 5, a member of the Soviet Zond program, was an unmanned spacecraft that in September 1968 became the second ship to travel to and circle the Moon, and the first to return safely to Earth. Although unmanned, Zond 5 carried the first Earthlings to reach the Moon, including two tortoises, mealworms, wine flies, plants, and other life forms, and was also the first to return Moon travelers safely to Earth. Zond 5, a version of the Soyuz 7 KL-1 manned Moon flyby spacecraft, was launched by a Proton-K carrier rocket with a Block D upper stage to conduct scientific studies during its lunar flyby. The Moon flight. After Zondfa's partial success in March 1968, a follow-up was launched on April 22. The launch failed however when the LES sent an erroneous abort command at T plus 260 seconds and shut down the proton booster's second stage. The escape rocket fired and pulled the descent module to safety. In July, another 7KL-1 was being prepared for launch when the Block D stage exploded on the pad, killing three people, but leaving the proton booster and spacecraft with only minor damage. Zond 5 launched on September 14 and became the first spacecraft to circle the Moon and return to land on Earth. On September 18, the spacecraft flew around the Moon. The closest distance was 1,950 km. High-quality photographs of the Earth were taken at a distance of 90,000 km. A biological payload of two Russian tortoises, wine flies, mealworms, plants, seeds, bacteria, and other living matter was included in the flight. On September 21, the re entry capsule entered the Earth's atmosphere but could not perform a skip re entry due to a failure of the guidance system. Landing was supposed to occur in Kazakhstan, but instead Zond 5 splashed down in the Indian Ocean and was successfully recovered by the USSR recovery vessels Borovishi and Vasily Golovin. Although the ballistic re-entry would have been bad for human occupants, it did not appear to affect the biological specimens, all of which were alive and well when the descent module was finally opened four days after landing. It was announced that the tortoises had lost about 10% of their body weight but remained active and showed no loss of appetite. This spacecraft was planned as a precursor to a manned lunar spacecraft. The USS McMorris was shadowing the Soviet recovery ships, collecting intelligence information. Photographs taken by the McMorris of the descent module bobbing in the ocean aroused concern at NASA that the Soviets were planning a manned circumlunar flight soon, especially since the United States had been tracking Zond 5 for its entire flight, and was a catalyst for the decision to launch Apollo 8 to the Moon in December instead of its originally planned mission of testing the lunar module in high Earth orbit. The Zond 5 return capsule is on display at the RKK Energia Museum, in Russia. See also Animals in space Splashdown spacecraft landing Topic References Topic External links ZOND5 in astronautics Comp this article was originally based on material from NASA NSSDC information on Zon 5.